What is going on, everyone? This is your man, King May, coming back with y'all right here in the King May YouTube channel. Y'all, if you like the video today, make sure you go ahead and tap that thumbs up button. Of course, hey, if you haven't subscribed to the King May community, make sure you go ahead and do that now. Or, hey, let me know down in the comments section if you're enjoying this. But for all of you John Deere lovers out there, because I know I've got a lot of them around, you guys. This is my Westby map, as you guys have seen in the past, and this is my heavy John Deere map, you guys. And today, we got ourselves a bit of a, well, a task that we need to take on. As we're firing up the old 6-0, baby, letting it roar. My goodness, you guys. And I, you know, I did have somebody ask about this, and I do apologize. There is a public release of this 6.0, and I am forgetting who did it. Um, so this mod was released before somebody just did an edit on it. I'm not going to lie. I'm absolutely falling back in love with this truck. I really am. But anyways, we need to strap up this John Deere here. We are heading on over to our feedlot, you guys, and we need to get it mowed up. If you do remember from last video of Westby, well, we mowed our overgrown farm and it was out of control. So today, we are gonna get our feedlot under control as well. I've heard that, uh, you know, it's it's Westby, it's the country, man. It's kind of small, small town living out here in the country in Westby. But uh, I heard uh, I unfortunately have new neighbors behind the feedlots and um, apparently word around the farms has been that they're not too happy with my property being a little overgrown well a it's a feedlot it's a it's farmland so i mean it is what it is but secondly i don't know it just doesn't sound like it's that good of a neighbor so hopefully we don't have to deal with them hopefully they don't come out and we can just get our lawn mowed up here today get it taken care of and we'll be on our way at least to get home get to bed because well we've got some more things that we need to get done tomorrow so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna shut down the old 6-0 hopping on the old john deere zero turn baby and I'm, I'm kind of thinking that we just start with the roads here it's it's gonna be a little abnormal so normally i would go around the exterior and i would get that mode up and then we would kind of just work our way in and all this feedlot it's kind of i don't know all over the place and it's a little rocky and i don't necessarily want to be taking my zero turn uh, too much of the rocky parts. I don't need to be slinging rocks and gravel all over the place. So we're just gonna go ahead and there we go. We're pretty much made her all the way around the driveway area. Now we're just gonna get on into here. I'm not too worried about again the hillsides there, but we'll just kind of oh slinging the dug off the tree. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just kind of work our way around the edges here get it looking nice at least by the feedlot area and i'm not gonna lie to you guys has any of you ever had the feeling like you're just being watched you know what i'm saying what you just, it just feels like somebody's just watching what you're doing i'm kind of getting that feeling man i don't know if it's just from the the talk with the neighbors you know i was having a few brown waters some of the neighbors and uh you know just the talk man you know it is what it is you just you know once you once you hear about it you know you're just kind of thinking about it and it's like man okay well are the neighbors actually upset is just here they you know now what's going on with it so i don't know hopefully i didn't actually upset the neighbors with uh not being able to get down here i mean hopefully they will understand as a farmer that uh well when it's hay making season it's time to make hay, man, and I really didn't have much of a choice other than to get out in the field and get the hay done. Well, I'm gonna just continue working around the property here, and uh, man, it just feels like somebody's watching me, man. I don't know. We're just gonna keep mowing along, and uh, I don't know. We're just gonna try and get this done here tonight so we can get home and get to bed because we got some herbicide that we need to get spraying tomorrow. And who just pulled off? This is my property that's my old shed up there oh no you know that feeling i was having when somebody was watching me <sighs> i'm betting this is that neighbor oh let's just kind of yell up to him hey what are you doing on my property um excuse me 
I said, what are you doing on my property? Um, I'm here because you have not been taking care of your lawn, and it is very, very upsetting. Um, ex who are you? Um, I'm your neighbor from just, like, uh, behind you. D don't worry about it. Don't worry where I'm from. You need to be taking care of this lawn a lot better. Well, ma'am, it's, it's a feed lot. Um, and it's farmland and it's not your property that you're trespassing yeah, well, on, no. I can go wherever I want to, okay? I really don't want to hear about it. So, you need to make sure that you keep mowing this lawn, uh, you know, at least once a week. You know, no, what, what, hold on a second. You still haven't answered. What is your, who are you? Um, I, I am, uh, I am a mother. A mother? Mother of who? That's not your name. What is your name? Um... You know what? You, you, you just... You can just call me Karen's mom. Oh... No. 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 Get off... Get off my property, Karen's mom. Get... Go. Get out of here. Um, no. This is, uh, America, and I can go wherever I want to, and you are the one that's having an issue mowing your lawn. Look, Karen's mom, uh, you have three seconds to start putting that ranger of yours Backing out of my driveway and getting out of here. No, I can do whatever I want. That's it, Karen. Uh, Karen's mom, I'm calling the cops. I'm mowing my lawn. Leave me alone. I'm calling the cops. Go ahead. Go ahead and call them. See what happens. I can get off-road. I can get anywhere I need to. Yeah, I can see that, Karen's mom. Just get out of here. Take you and your Can-Am and get out of here. No, I'll do whatever. Hey, you come back here. Hey, come back. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Are you kidding me, you guys? Seriously, like, we go, we hang out with Austin, and we have some fun, and then Karen just has to show up, but, I mean, that's Karen, of all things, and you guys know how crazy she is. Are you kidding me? But Karen's mom is now my neighbor in Westby. Dude, I... I'm just trying to operate a dairy farm, man. I really don't want to sit and deal with Karen's mom. Are you kidding me? And of all things, she's a neighbor. At least she's not neighbors with like my main farm, my house. But still, she's close. She's way too close. Way too close. Hopefully, uh, I don't know. Hopefully, that restraining order on Karen can uh, easily transfer to Karen's mom. All right. Well, thank goodness Karen's mom just left us alone. Hopefully, we can just. Continue mowing, not have any, not have any more issues. And I mean, really this lot, I I can typically just mow it about once, maybe twice a year and it's fairly manageable anyways. And it's not too bad anyways. The zero turn does a great job and I don't know, hopefully, hopefully we can just leave her alone. I mean, worst case scenario, she was just trespassing on my property. I'm not gonna make a big fuss out of it, but if she does decide to continue, then I'll, I'll definitely have to get a restraining order on her just as we got one on karen all right making pretty good progress we got that whole back side done we're gonna go ahead and hurry up get this front side wrapped up a bit here and I'm not too worried about the ex exterior portions there it's i mean it's in the trees and again it's the feedlot man it's like as long as it looks presentable around the feedlot i'm okay with it just because this is kind of tucked back away from the road so i honestly uh, especially with the trees i don't know how karen's mom was looking over here but it, it is what it is uh, my guess is that her house has got to be the one that's like straight ahead there where you can kind of see the white garage it's it's got to be that place but Either way, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna finish this up here. Shouldn't take us much longer, and then we're gonna get home, we're gonna get to bed, and then uh, we need to get out in the fields and uh, continue on with spraying herbicide here, getting us that much closer to harvest here on Westby. All right, there we go. Got the old zero turn loaded back up here. It's time to get back home, y'all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, should we stop? It looks like Karen's mom wiped out and went into the ditch, lost the four-wheeler. I don't know if she was in that or not, but oh my goodness. <laughs> we're just, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. I, I mean, I already had the cops on the way. They should see it. Um, there, we'll, we'll just consider that my, uh, my due diligence. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead though, and let's get the lawnmower put back in the shed. The garage here, let's get the 
trailer put away. We're gonna head to bed, you guys. We got a busy day tomorrow. All right, y'all, just shutting the old radio down. We finished up milking here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the cattle out and we need to get chores done here this morning. And then we're gonna be off and at it once we are done with that for getting the herbicide on the field, you guys. All right, so we're getting caught up here, just about done with our chores this morning and it's it's about mid-morning now you guys we got quite a bit done we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take this load of tmr on down to the feedlot there and i'm, I'm kind of curious if karen's mom is still stuck in the ditch or not i, I i'm i'm thinking that uh her husband or somebody probably just came and picked her up based off of how it, it really didn't look like anybody was sitting in it last night but we'll find out here this morning i suppose Oh boy, I can already see it from here. It looks like, well, I don't, I don't see any fire trucks or ambulance. So I'm thinking Karen's mom is probably okay, but it uh, looks like they finally called a tow truck. So we'll see when I get up here. I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and talk to this cop here. Hopefully I can uh, sneak on by. Yeah, you're good to go around, man. Go ahead, We're, he's just hooking up right now. All right, thank you, officer. I'll sneak past you guys then quick. All right, so it does look like uh, I'm gonna be able to kind of sneak around them here real quick. They're just just getting the ranger hooked up, it looks like. Oh my goodness. I mean, not to be that guy and just kind of stare at all that, but uh, <laughs> uh, I guess karma. Karma, it'll get you, man. Yep. Looks like they're going to be working on that for a bit, man. I'm surprised they didn't bring a bigger tow truck out, man. That is, that is a, a steep ditch, as most ditches are with Wisconsin, man. If, if any of you know what it's like driving around the country, man. I mean, there's a lot of pretty good spots, but there's some spots, man. If you go off the road, you are in trouble. All right, y'all. So we are going to call this one a video here as we are working our way down the field spraying the all herbicide now we do have the gps on and uh we are getting the sectional spraying going on in between the fields here but it's just a general layer of herbicide to kill off any remaining weeds it's kind of the last spray as far as i've been analyzing we should be sitting good on nitrogen for the year so this is kind of our midsummer. plants are about shin high to knee high and we're just getting in here and getting the herbicide on killing these weeds off and finalizing it for harvest coming up here this fall so you guys if you did enjoy the video today make sure you go ahead and tap that thumbs up button for me and of course if you haven't yet subscribed to the king make community make sure you go ahead and tap that little red button down there for me now but y'all thank you again hopefully you enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one peace